Hi, my name is Carl Anderson, and in this video I'll present the SharePoint List Synchronizer tool. So what are SharePoint Lists? Well, first of all, Microsoft SharePoint is a great tool for sharing information, and as it centralizes all information and allows you to view it online, you know that the information you're viewing is for sure the latest version. On the other hand, you also have Microsoft Excel, which is a great tool to manipulate extensive sets of data, but sharing those workbooks around can lead to people using out-of-date information. Well, starting with Microsoft Excel and SharePoint 2003, Microsoft introduced SharePoint Lists, which allow users to read from and write to lists that reside on SharePoint sites. This feature was great as it allowed users to have the best of both worlds. Users could use Excel to manipulate their data while this data was stored in the SharePoint server so it was shared with all team members. Furthermore, users could work on the list offline and only synchronize back when they wanted to. However, in Excel 27 and upper, this ability to synchronize back to SharePoint was disabled. From now on, it's a one-way operation. You can only export your data to Excel. The complete round trip is not possible as it used to. Well, thanks to the SharePoint Less Synchronizer, the scenario is now possible again. Once you install our tool, you can export your list to Excel and synchronize back your changes to SharePoint, just like you used to. In practice, without the tool, when you export a list in Excel, you notice that the Synchronize with SharePoint menu is missing. However, once you install the tool, when exporting your list from SharePoint to Excel, our tool enables this feature back again, so the Synchronize with SharePoint option is there as it was in Excel 2003. Okay, so this is it for the theory, and uh, let's see it in action. Okay, so I'm going to get out of my PowerPoint presentation and switch to my SharePoint website. And on this website you can see that I have a list of tasks which I'm going to export to uh, Microsoft Excel. And please note that for now I don't have uh, the synchronized tool installed, so I won't be able to synchronize back to SharePoint. So here on my list, if I select my list and then I hit table, you can see that I cannot synchronize back to, share, to my SharePoint website. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to go on the SoftLearn website and on the SharePoint Synchronizer uh, web page, I'm going to download the tool. There, I'm going to click Run, downloads the tool, and launch it. So I'm going to Next, Next. I'm going to use the key that is provided on the web page, which is a trial key. Okay. And I'm installing the tool. Okay, hit finish. Okay, so now that the product was installed, I'm going to go back to my SharePoint website, and then here I'm going to export my list. And so now that I have the tool, I'll be able to synchronize back to, um, to my SharePoint website. So here, for instance, if I go in table, you can see that I have the menu back in my contextual menu. So here I'm going to set this one to be completed and 100% for instance. There, I'm going to hit table, synchronize with SharePoint. You can see it's contacting my SharePoint server there. And if I go back on my task and that I refresh my list, you can see that the model 4 is now marked completing and 100%. Okay, that's it. This is actually all the tool does, just uh, restoring this functionality, which is really a great feature because now, for instance, I can just, you know, save my workbook and then I'll be able to work on this list offline and whenever I want, I can synchronize back my changes to my SharePoint website so that all my team members can benefit from my work. So this is it for the demonstration. I'm going to go back uh, to the presentation. Uh, a couple... A couple more slides actually to go 
so what we've seen in the demonstration was that uh, the tool works totally transparently as as a user point of view. All I have to do is hit export on Excel. So here on the screenshot, you're seeing SharePoint 2010, but it also works with all SharePoint versions. Uh, during the demo, I used uh, WSS, so that's SharePoint uh, with the free version of SharePoint 2007. So all you have to do is click on export to Excel, and then it launches our tool, which opens Excel with the sync feature enabled. Um, another feature provided by our tool uh, is that regarding, uh, well, this feature is for Excel 2010 users, and is that, that you might have noticed that Excel 2010 doesn't, does not allow users to connect to basic authentication protected websites. The user password window does not pop up uh, as it used to anymore, and instead a failing message just pops up. This is due to the fact that the feature is now disabled by default in Excel 2010, and so users cannot access SharePoint lists hosted on sites protected by basic authentication anymore. Again, using our tool, uh, you can activate back this feature and, s and access such lists. So in practice, here's the error message that you'd have when trying to synchronize with the list on such protected site. And here's what would happen uh, once the feature is enabled back again. So you would only have this, uh, well, the uh, user password window which would pop up so you could fill in your information and connect to the site. Another point of interest is the installation. As illustrated in the demo, the product is completely independent from the SharePoint server. All versions are supported and no changes are needed on the server side. It's all client only. Another point of interest is, as you've seen, it uses a standard Windows installer to install the tool, so it's quite easy to deploy. And it fully supports corporate deployment scenarios. About the pricing, the licensing model is based on the number of users, so a single uh, user license costs uh, $69, and the unit price decreases according to the number of licenses. For instance, buying 100 licenses drops the unit price to $9.99, and getting 1,000 licenses drops it to $2.99. So please note that we also provide a free trial key which you've seen in the demo, so you can evaluate our product to ensure it matches your needs before actually purchasing it. Okay, so this is it for this uh, presentation. Um, thank you very much for your attention. If ever you have some extra questions that pop up afterwards, uh, don't hesitate contacting us at info at or on our forums available on our website. Well, thanks again and bye-bye.